Hey welcome everyone, I apologize that I'm not uploading the videos regularly, and most of them want a GTA 5 graphics mod video right? Hmm, that video will be uploaded after few days until watch some other videos. If you are new here then make sure to hit the subscribe and like button together. These all games are from high-end PC, actually, I made videos on low-end PCS, but I didn't make a single video about high-end PC, so this video will be on high-end PCS, enjoy it and let's get into the video. First, we have this Mafia 3, it is the best open world game, I like it, because the story is so good in this game, if you concentrate on the scenes, and the cutscenes without skipping then you'll definitely know how the game is. I'm not done with Mafia 3, but one thing Hangar 13 has down is the narrative. Lincoln Clay's story is compelling, a young man trying to find a family, only to lose it again and again. He's pulled from the wreckage of the Black Mob's bar headquarters by Father James, who is oddly all about Clay killing Marcano, but Clay doesn't want to stop there. This is a roaring rampage of revenge. Lincoln vows to slowly take everything from Marcano, burning down his empire and family before finally Sal Marcano himself. Second, we have this most understated game, Saints Row IV, it has the same trouble as Superman. All matters are taken into consideration it is a fairly right problem to have, because it stems from exquisite powers like being faster than a dashing bullet and able to jump over tall buildings in an unmarried bound. But the aspect many comedian ebook enthusiasts find a little boring approximately the Man of Steel is that, if you're basically a god, not anything can mission you, and what's a hero without a mission to triumph over? That identical boredom, in the end, proves to be Saints Row IV's kryptonite. Developer Volition has made us residing gods in an open international town, and it's remarkable for a while, however, it renders a good deal of what makes Saints Row the third a lot of laugh feeling needless. Third, we have L.A. Noir, this is an open world game, there are belongings you want to recognize going into L.A. Noir, and the first is that this isn't always only a 1940s set Grand Theft Auto. Yes, it functions a whole lot of using and shooting in an open international, however, its actual focus is on the investigation. And whilst you're possibly already privy to its detective sim components, you might be amazed to study which you'll truly spend a lot more time scouring crime scenes and thinking suspects than you may chase them down and or capturing them dead. Second, Noir pulls only a few punches. The story of Cole Phelps, an ambitious younger detective and warfare hero running his way up the ranks of the LAPD, it delves into the seedy, frequently traumatic underbelly of 1940s Hollywood. As in apparently every work of La Set Noir fiction, there may be a cesspit of violence and corruption lurking just under the sunny glamour, and Cole's job is to wade into it day by day, entering frequent touch with creepy rapists, spouse-beating drunks, grieving households and at the least a few battered, bare and or burned corpses. The fourth game, that's Metal Gear Solid V, the phantom pain almost all of the time, and what's truly remarkable is that none of this getaway changed into scripted or directed. My mission changed without a doubt, to get that prisoner out alive. The rest of it, from the time of day I chose to technique to crippling the base's potential to deal with an aerial assault, was a testament to how flawlessly all of the portions of Phantom Pain's gamma play suit together. It is, surely, my favorite Metal Gear to play, although I do want its story added as many memorable moments as its sandbox empowered me to create for myself. The last fifth, its Elder Scrolls Skyrim V, quite possibly the most completely acknowledged, effectively pleasant, and totally engaging pretending games at any point made. Executing a mythical beast yields a spirit, which controls Skyrim's new shout framework. These are mysterious capacities any character can utilize, you don't need to represent considerable authority in spell projecting to moderate time, project your voice, change the climate, bring in partners, impact out ice and fire, or thump back adversaries with a moving flood of unadulterated power. Regardless of whether you favor sword, safeguard, and hefty protection and disregard enchantment altogether, you'll in any case, have the option to exploit these capacities gave you track down the legitimate words, each shout has three, covered up on Skyrim's high cold pinnacles, and in the profundities of failed to remember prisons, filling in is another motivation to keep investigating long after you've depleted the primary journey story, gotten together with the thieves guild, battled close by the dark brotherhood, or advocated one of the groups competing for control of Skyrim.